morning. Ooh, where's my chair down? <laughs> I have gotten so many requests to make a video like this and I have tried to make a video like this so many times, but I've collected all of the footage and then realized it's incredibly boring. Um, but people keep asking. So essentially what we're gonna do today, this week, I'm gonna take you through all of the back end nitty gritty part of what I do because people are always asking me, well, how do you edit? How do you plan? How do you organize? How do you get everything done? So I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Please keep in mind that everything I'm doing is self-taught and not like, I just knew how to do it. So I then did it. No, like everything I'm doing, I probably Google at some point. So always remember when you're asking people on the internet, like, how do you edit this? How do you put this together? How do you research this? It's probably faster, more accurate, and more efficient to literally just go online and look it up. So that's my Monday morning advice. I'm very tired. It is about 8 a.m. I like to let myself sleep on Monday. I really don't enjoy like a busy Monday. I just find that it like stresses me out for the rest of the week. All right, so here's our day up on the screen. So first thing I do in the morning is look at my calendar. You can see that I use Google Calendar. It is all color coordinated, editing, coaching, personal stuff. So we'll kind of talk about each thing as we go. My favorite thing to do on a Monday morning is sit down for a few hours and edit a video. Today I'm editing the second episode of the Fit Down Chat. I don't know where my voice is. So why don't we hop on into that? Okay, I keep all of my like electronics over here. This is my hard drive. So all I have to do, hard drive in. I'll do like a screen share in a second, but she pops up right here. We're gonna open up my final cut, which is the YouTube one. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you the entirety of what I do, but first thing I'm gonna do is create a new event. Personal preference, I just like to name it by the date because I do have everything dated in terms of my videos. And I'm gonna start a new project. And this is Fit Down Chat 2. Right, so now I'm just gonna go into this little download button on my hard drive. This is the person that I interviewed. We're gonna import that, it's a ton of footage. Great, so now all of my footage is in here. So I'm gonna lay down camera A, because I did use two different cameras. And we're gonna start here. Oh, this one's gonna be so much shorter than me and Laura. Me and Laura got very carried away. <laughs> Essentially, I just highlighted both clips and I'm doing this audio analysis. So it's automatically gonna like even up the audio, make sure that everything sounds even, nothing is too crazy loud, get rid of some background noise, and then I can go in and get more specific if I need to. Great, so that's done. Now I'm gonna go one clip at a time. I'm gonna try and get my face, maybe I don't face out at all. Okay, so we're gonna do this balance color which is essentially just gonna like color correct. I like a warmer tone. So what I usually do in this room is actually the cool presets. We're gonna see how this looks. Oh, actually I don't hate that at all. I'm a little dark, but I don't really care and I can always fix that later as I'm editing. And then I'm gonna go into blur and I'm gonna put a sharpen on top. I just find that that looks nice. All right, so same thing over here. Now these are two different clips, so I'm gonna have to make sure that that Google filter looks the same on both. I'm just gonna go like here, here. Amazing. Perfect. So like I said, and we're gonna end this section after this because it's gonna get really boring, but I have two different cameras. So this is the other one. We're just doing like a little check. This is the sound effect, by the way. Okay, so this is our big clip. So essentially what I'm gonna do is drag this on top actually underneath, but I'm gonna match up the audio. Essentially then I can jump from like this view to this view. And that is pretty much it. I mean, now I'm gonna sit here for the next few hours and get this done. This is actually a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be, so this should not take me until 12.30. And then we'll catch back up. I'm gonna eat breakfast in here at some point. My brain's not working. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, quick break from editing because I actually have a deal going on today. Today the prenatal program dropped within the Fit Club. I'll like pop that up, show you what it looks like, but I need to push it out. I had an email scheduled to go out this morning, which did. I just sold two Fit Club one years. Mm -hmm. but I need to put it on Instagram. So essentially it's like today only 20% off any Fit Club membership using the code BABY because it's the prenatal program. Okay, let me show you. I'm gonna show you my phone and how I'm gonna do this. So I have to go into Canva first and download what I made. Okay, so this is the document, amazing. Now we're gonna go into Instagram and we're gonna make it a post. So one, I wanna select more than one, two, three, baby. Amazing, okay. 
We're going to drop my phone. So now I'm going to go into Asana. This is actually where I organize a lot of stuff. I'm going to go into my social media calendar. Okay, so prenatal program. So I'm going to highlight all of this. Essentially on Fridays, and you'll see this later, I plan out all of my social media for the next week, and I write all of the captions so that this is much easier in the moment. We're going to check off that I did that. I'm going to go in this app called Spacey. I actually don't know if you need an app like this just for spaces anymore, but I like it because you can do the little bold thingy. Um, oh, what did I have bolded? The code, not that. Musical theater people? Okay. So we're going to convert that. Amazing. We're just going to proofread that real quick. So now we're going to share it. Perfect. So now, which one that looks nicer? I'm going to post this to my story. Hold, please. So I think I'm just going to do this, and I'll go on and, like, talk a little bit later, but I really just want to get this other video edited. So I'm sharing the post, and then I actually don't like that. Like, turn to the side. And then I just took, like, one of the other photos in here, and I went in, and I chose it from here, and I put it there. Now I'm going to add the link to the Fit Club. Let's do less steps so that they just go right to the pricing page. We're going to say join today. That's all a little low. Let's bring that up. Not my best graphic design, but it's something amazing. All right, now we're going to get back to that. Okay, I just finished editing the first round, but this is pretty self-explanatory, so I don't think I'm going to have to do a ton of edits as I rewatch it, but it's 940 and it is a 18 minute video. So to be smart and use my time wisely, we're going to go make breakfast. This isn't what this video is about, but one of my favorite breakfast rotations, cottage cheese. I don't really measure except by like eyeballing with my hand. So this is going to be like one and a half to two servings of protein. I'm going to go on with berries. So this is going to be like my carb and fiber source. Pretty low carb though. I'm not eating low carb. I'm just noting that it's lower carb. Blackberries don't look great. And then my fat source, peanut butter. You know, the only thing more beautiful than this, this girl. Yes, 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 yes. Strut, strut, strut. You better strut like you mean it. Free your mind. Come on, come on. Get up. By the way, Kevin's on a work trip right now, which is the reason that I have full reign of the apartment and can be fully obnoxious. So this is the deal. We're going to sit here for the next 20 minutes or so. Just proof this video, make sure it's good. Then I'm going to export it, shrink it down, upload it to YouTube unlisted so I can send it over to Miriam just to make sure that like, you know, anything in there that she said she approves of. And then we'll get it scheduled for, I think it's like the 17th or the 20th or something, which is great because it's May 1st. Let's do this. What are your thoughts on that? And then how do you implement that with your business? This is such an important topic. Okay, now it's time as that's exporting to get a thumbnail. So I'll just go through for these and like look for an engaging photo of us chatting. But well, that's actually really cute. That's an option. I'll just like screenshot some. That's a good one. Let's get one more option. Okay. So now I'm just going to look at the two that I got. One, two. I don't like either. <laughs> okay. That's our winner. Okay. I promise you we're only going to do this once this week. I do have another video to edit and I can't take you through this all again because it is... I hope this isn't boring. So I use Lightroom. I just put the photo in there. So I'm going to crop it, get those edges off. Now I have these presets that I bought from Catherine Manning, I think like three years ago. I typically like the cooler option. Yeah, my, my bicep looks insane in this video. Um, That's actually pretty good. Let's see. A little more highlight. I'm a little dark because the window's that way, but I don't really care because it's not about me. It's about her. I think it's cool enough. We'll just get the detail up more. And now I'm going to share it to my laptop. Okay, so I really like the way that this first episode's thumbnail came out. So I think we're just going to like pretty much do the same thing. Okay, so I'm just going to think about what we talked about and put it up on here. And then we'll come back and look at it. Okay, I actually really like the way that this came out. So I, I mean, literally copy and paste, change the words. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
So now I'm going to go into my Asana and let's look at calendar mode. And I just want to see when this comes out. So this is on the 17th. So to name this, I'm going to go into my hard drive, into my scripts. I always save every script on like a different Word document. It's just the way that I like to do it. And so the last fit down chat was this one. So I'm actually going to rename it or I'm going to name it pretty much the same thing. You can see everything is numbered. This is like what video this is. A lot of videos. Okay, so BMI, that comes out on Wednesday. So that's 361. Uh, oh, I had to change order. So yeah, so 361, 362, 363. So this should be 364. So I'm going to go back onto my desktop and I'm going to rename this 364. And then we'll change all of this in a second. Let's come down here. So this is Fit Down Chat episode two. Miriam Freed. We talk about weight loss, snatch waist workouts, a marketing ethics, and more. That's the title. So now I'm going to go through. Here, I'll show you what it will look like. So this was the one with Laura. So essentially, I'll go through and I'll do like the description, anything I mentioned. She talked about a lot of books, more playlists. So this is just everything that's going in the description box and then all of my keywords. Uh, so I'm going to do that now, but I'm not going to show it to you because it's going to be really boring. Okay, so I am currently shrinking down the video because it just exported. It's going to be about 10 minutes. This is also why my computer sounds like it's going to explode. In the meantime, I'm going to work on a few things in my to-do list and my goal is to be done all of this like video uploaded, description, da 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 da, -da by 11 o'clock. So that is in 20 minutes, which sounds feasible. Okay, so video is uploading. So I'm essentially just taking this document and we're going to input all of this stuff. So I'm going to replace the mentions part with all things Miriam. Great. And then we'll do more fit down chats. So I'm just going to copy that guy, paste it here. We're going to upload the thumbnail. Amazing. We're going to add it to the fit down chats playlist. And then coming down here for our tags, I'm just going to paste all of those in. We're going to monetize it to put that on. Add suitability. I don't know if either of us curse, but I just in case always put that first one. Video elements, checks, suitability. I'm going to keep it unlisted for right now so Miriam can proof it. Amazing. Hi. All right, I just filmed two different TikToks. I'm really bad at TikTok and I just, yeah, needed to film something real quick. So we're gonna edit that and post it. It's so hard because they keep doing it. Okay, so it's 11.30. I have a nutrition client in an hour. I just write down their name, what session this is for us. So this is session number 15. And then I'll go through and I'll look at our homework from last week. Something we've been implementing has been a pre-sleep ritual. A lot of nutrition coaching surprises people because it's always like so much more than just nutrition. You know, that's where we typically start, but there's also, depending on their goals, there might be a movement component. A lot of times, you know, a sleep is a big component. Then all of my nutrition clients have their own private Google Drive folder that we share together and it just has all of our different here. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a lot of blurring, but essentially it's just gonna have any different like tracking documents, informational documents, so we can just reference these together. So I'm gonna take a few minutes to go through their food diary, any other like tracking documents that we use, just make some notes how we wanna kind of steer today's session. And then the plan after that is to eat lunch and then get ready for my intro call for my new cert that I'm getting, which I don't think we've talked about yet. So we'll talk about that in a bit. Lunch break is over. Let's chat really quickly about this new certification that I'm getting. So it is a kettlebell certification through Bell Mechanics. Really long story short, you need continuing education credits to recertify as a personal trainer. I actually are already met mine for this like two year cycle, but I do think if you have the money to spend on it, it is important to get more than one course of education every two years. 
So I knew that I wanted to get a kettlebell certification at some point because I really want to build a kettlebell program. I came across Bell Mechanics and the reason that I invested the money in it is because they are really big on progressions and regressions of specific kettlebell skills. And I've talked about it a lot before. My favorite cert that I have is CFSC, the Certified Functional Strength Coach <laughs> certification. And it's because a lot of that is about programming and what like what is the baseline exercise you're trying to teach somebody? How can we smartly and strategically progress and regress it. So I'm very excited. We have like a little intro call right now. I don't really know how long it's gonna take, but my next thing after this is my karaoke cardio class at 5.30. Anyway, let's, um, let's continue our education. Previously on Dance Moms. Okay, so we're gonna get the Zoom room open. I actually don't have to film my class tonight and edit it which was on purpose. I've been trying to get a lot smarter about what I schedule. So I've been doing this thing where, you know, I'm trying to go through old recordings and just update them if they don't look great. Because I actually realized I went through and I made like a whole catalog list of every single workout in the Fit Club. There's like 800 workouts in there. That's, that's plenty. If anyone says there's not enough variety, don't know what you want from me. Some of those are from 2020 and the quality is just not as great, right? Whether it's the fact that I completely redid this room, whether it's the sound, whether it's the editing. So I've just been going through and like making notes of what I need to reshoot, what I need to delete. And I did realize that with a lot of my dance cardio ones, they just look better. I mean, they all look better in a studio, but like, especially those, they just look better in a studio. And I take more time to like edit out the heavy gasping and heaving as I'm dancing. So what I did this month, when I rented my studio, I filmed all of the scheduled karaoke cardio classes for Mondays ahead of time. And they're already up. And they're also redos of old versions that I filmed in this room. And like, they're terrible. So I'm like killing two birds with one stone. I'm reshooting old content, also making it look better in a studio space. And then three added bonus, I don't have to do it tonight when I get home from dance. So yeah, let me show you how I set up the Zoom room. Okay, so I actually already did it. I just take the laptop and I just like scooch it. And sometimes you'll see like the edge of my piano over there that doesn't really bother me. But I'm just trying to make sure that this line on the floor and this line are pretty even. So like it's a little, that's pretty good. And then I'll like look up here too. There's nothing that bothers me more than like when I go back to edit a video and it's like, and it's like, just, you know, were you drunk when you set up the camera? And then when I'm waiting for class to start, I sit on my little foam roller so I don't have to be on the floor and hurt my knees because I'm 34 my knees hurt. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to teach and I will see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, 6 a.m. wake up. Good morning, we're on my phone for a minute because I'm putting all of my footage from yesterday on my hard drive because I forgot. I am getting ready to teach my 8 a.m. strength class, functional fit, and I wanna show you guys just how I set that up. So I write out all of my programs for the month ahead of time, just so I can see like the big picture. So these are all of the recent programs I've done. We are in endurance month, so this is strength cardio. So this is our whole program, and I am essentially just going to take it, put it on here, so let's do it. And now this guy lives right up here, so I can see it when I'm teaching. Okay, so we did this yesterday, but not with like also filming it on the side. So we're gonna start the meeting. Always make sure if you're using music, share your sound. Once a month, I forget to do that and I'm jamming by myself until someone awkwardly tells me over the chat. That looks good. We're gonna bring my chair in. So I just have my camera on the side as I'm teaching. And I always think it still turns out pretty well. Like I do wish I would like look at the camera more. That's just a note for myself, but let's get that set up. So this microphone, this is the receiver, gets plugged in right here. And then I'm gonna wear this guy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And the only other thing, I have two different headphones. I'm a Beats girl. These guys I wear when I'm teaching a sweaty class because the mic is down here. My ooh, other ones that are like little wireless guys, more like AirPods, the mic is like up here. So when I sweat, it actually sweats out the mic, which is actually very annoying, but those guys get the job done. So let's do our hair and get ready to teach. This is a long push, as if you were on your toes. That leg, power up. Different morning, same breakfast. Okay, so I inputted my footage. I already did my audio analysis. I do my color correction a little bit differently. 
for my live classes. So I'll just like balance the color and then I just play with like bringing the mids up, maybe some of the highs and then bring a little more of that contrast in. I'll always add a sharpen on top. And then I don't know what it is. I think it's the tripod that I'm using. I actually switched tripods with Kevin by accident because we have the same one. But do you see how like it, the floor is slanted? Like it's not even, right? Even though every time I set it up, it's even. So I actually just need to get my tripod back. I just keep forgetting to literally go in the other room. But anyway, you can fix this. I just do a little 0.5 so it spins it a little and then zoom in so that you know, like the, the black border isn't cut off. And that fixes it. So I'm gonna paste this. That looks good. You just have to like check if you're pasting effects because sometimes it'll like totally make it look different. So I'll just kind of cut out that first part. And I go into my songs. This feel this was like a 2000s hip hop R&B mix. Feels like the vibe of the class. So we're gonna take this down to negative 15. So now, oh yeah. We're gonna start to talk the head. So now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna put in like timers. And if I am checking form on people, like I'll put in a little overlay so that people still know what to look at. All of that good stuff. I'm basically just like zhuzhing it up a little bit. And I am fully aware that I could totally just like press record on Zoom and then like upload it to my site. I don't know, I just, and no shade to anybody who does that, like that's a huge time saver and people get the recording faster, so like I get it. I just think the quality is so bad. And I just like the fact that like I can add in all of these other effects and I think it gives me more repurpose of the videos. Like I feel comfortable using this in a four week program that I'm building out, but I would never use something that I just like recorded on Zoom and then half of the video is like me checking form on people. So anyway, that's why I do this and that's why sometimes the videos take longer to get up than someone who just records on Zoom. I think it's a good trade off, but you can let me know if you disagree. All right, let's edit this class and then we have a client and then we have to come back and film some social media stuff and then we have another client and then we're gonna go to the gym. But my knee is feeling really achy and I was gonna do a push day. So I guess it's a pull day because I'm not doing squats. Great. Oh, it's pouring rain all of a sudden. Thank God my client literally lives half a block away from me. I'm shrinking down my class before I edit it. It's about 10.30 right now and we're gonna film a YouTube video about the hip flexors. But first, Oh, I love you too. So I just want to show you guys really quickly, like an example of a program. So this is my postnatal client, the one that I trained like all through pregnancy as I was getting my uh, pronatal fitness certification. So she's kind of been my guinea pig as I've built out my postnatal program, which is coming in June. We've got our mobility work, core recovery. This is really important for her as she's like re-engaging her core. She actually did not have much ab separation. So that was really good. And then this is our basic strength. We've got a lower body push, upper body pull, lower body pull, upper body push. We're keeping it really simple to start. And then we're going to start to get more specific and other things that she needs. But we've also been working on like some crib reaches because she was specifically having issues with that. Her wrist was really hurting from feeding the baby. So we're working on strengthening her wrists, but that's been a lot better. So we're going to progress her program. Okay. We are going to the gym. I really don't want to. I also, my right knee is kind of sore today. I'm going to assume that's from dancing last night. And I was supposed to do a push day today, but we are most definitely not because that will irritate it. So I guess we're doing a pull. And um, yeah, I guess I'll show you what we're working on. All right, I never do this, but I am going to be working from bed for a little bit. Kevin should be home in about an hour, but we're going to dive into the first chapter of this kettlebell course that I'm taking. This is like a pre-course assessment. I'm going to do this in the gym on Friday so that I can go back and see how much I've improved on these five skills. We learn a lot more than just those things, but so the first chapter, so this week I'm going to be focused on breathing and positioning, and then I've blocked out today to study. Tomorrow we go through 
through the lecture. And then Thursday is office hours. I'm supposed to be editing a video during that time, but I'll probably pop in. Essentially, the lecture is just like, we're gonna talk more about the things that the video is covered. And then this is like putting it in action. So practicing. So you get a lot of like individual and like screen time. So I'm very happy with the investment in this so far. So let's study. Let's talk about what's actually happening with and chapter one is done. The baby's sleeping over there, so we're gonna try and be quiet. But I'm just gonna get some miscellaneous weekly admin work done. I'm gonna prep like a few social media and like weekly email things. So let's look at that. So I keep in Asana. This is all of my, this is like my whole class schedule. And if I ever need to like change anything, I can just drag and drop it. I'm gonna just prep my weekly email. Literally all I have to do, go in and change, just change the date as well. Double check all those dates, lower body strength, and this is the Eras Tour. And we're just going to download that. And then I use Wix for my email marketing because it just goes right through my website. And I'm just going to duplicate last Sunday's email, go in, change this image. You get the idea. <laughs> Good morning. Here's the schedule today. It's definitely a packed day, but I wouldn't say it's like frantic, crazy busy. So my first client, I actually meet with outside. It's supposed to start raining at like 10. We're done at 9.45, so fingers crossed. I think I also have to bring back out the winter coat. It says that it feels like it's 44. So we're just going to make sure we're nice and bundled because I've also been fighting a cold for like the past week. I haven't, like it hasn't you know, I don't want to let it take me over. I'm too busy. And then we'll meet back up a little later. So, um, let's look a little better than this. Good morning. I was just responding to some comments on my BMI video that just went live. And it's never a good sign when within the first, like, 20 minutes you have a number of negative comments. So, that's going to be fun. It's just people being like, BMI is a good eyeball to see if you're obese. BMI like has some good implications. And my response to everything is just like, instead of guessing based off of your height and weight, if someone internally is healthy, why don't we just measure that using measures of internal health? And that's what a lot of these commenters didn't really understand. And the reason for that is because they just want to go, this person's fat, they're unhealthy. And I said, like, no, I didn't, I don't think that. I don't think that at all. Yes, you do. Anyway, um, I have a client in nine minutes. We're going to set up for that. And then I need to make the bed and then I have to eat breakfast. I know I waited too long. I forgot to eat it this morning. You can yell at me. Like I always say, it's not failure. It's just feedback. My feedback is that I needed to have prepped breakfast so that I ate it before I had my first client. Oh, well, lesson learned. Let's go. Extend the hips back. Come right below the knee and then drive the floor down. Stand right back up. I feel like I subconsciously put off breakfast until now, but at 11 20 in the morning. That's not good because I knew that I wanted a breakfast sandwich like in my heart of hearts, but also didn't have time to make it any other time. So we're good. Okay, plan for the rest of the day. I was actually supposed to film four cardio workouts for my postnatal program, which is coming out in June. And this is just something that I've learned about myself doing this as long as I have. If I have to film like on demand stuff, not like a live class that I'm filming, if I have to film on demand stuff in this room, I will. 99% of the time talk myself out of it. And guess what I did today? <sighs> talk myself out of it. I mean, it has to get done by the end of the month. So where I moved it to, next week I am going to a studio. I have found that for me, if I go to a studio, I paid for the space, so I, I will film everything. I just moved it onto there because I actually looked at what I had planned. I actually think I might be able to get it done. And then if I don't, I still have two and a half weeks to film it and get it done. And I will get it done at some point. I just hate... I don't know what it is, like having to film it in this room. So what we're gonna do instead, tomorrow we were supposed to edit my video that I filmed yesterday about hip flexors, and we're gonna sit down and do it right now because my lecture for my cert isn't till two, and it's 11.30. So I actually don't even think I need that much time. 
The nice thing about mapping everything out on Google Calendar for me is that I get to start to see how much time it actually takes to do things. So I know I've made videos like this one before, the hip flexor video. So I just know like it's not gonna take me like four hours. So I know I can get it done by two. So let's stop procrastinating and let's do it. Okay, we're kind of sitting in the dark, but that's fine. So I finished editing this video. I'm about to upload it to YouTube now. You already saw how I do that on Monday, so I'm not gonna repeat it. I did sit for a second and I really sat back and I was like, why am I getting so defensive in these comments on people who are defending the BMI? And part of the reason I was getting so defensive was because of the political, sexist, racial implications of it, which I specifically did not talk about in this video. So I was like, okay, you can't get angry at people about something that you didn't even inform them about. So I just pinned a comment at the top that was like, I'm not gonna be responding to comments anymore. I should have included this because I'm getting like <laughs> viscerally angry about people still defending BMI when I didn't even explain the whole picture. So thank you for watching. I apologize if I was defensive, but I'm not gonna be reading these comments anymore. And I, I have very tough skin and I also am very good about like only posting things that I will firmly defend. And just this is a good learning experience of like, I should have included the full picture. I guess I just didn't realize, I did not realize how, <laughs> how much people really were willing to defend an archaic way of measuring health. Um, but now I know. So we're gonna finish up putting up this video. I then have, I'm gonna try and work through this to-do list as much as I can. I have about like 50 minutes until my kettlebell course lecture. Immediately after that, I have a potential new client. So I have like a little PT consult, then nutrition coaching. We gotta eat dinner, we gotta go dance. My meals are all pushed back now. All for that breakfast sandwich. All right, let's go. Okay, so what you're looking at here is a full list of every single workout in the Fit Club. We have 714 workouts in there and counting, which is insane. So what I'm trying to do is A, pare some of these down, but B, change the thumbnail so that they're all in color. A lot of the old ones are black and white and it just doesn't look great. And also, here, we'll open this up. This was class yesterday. This is a new feature. You can have categories. Provider on Wix, it's not great in terms of like search. I mean, you can't search. Filtering, like this is the closest we can get to filtering right now. So I have to like really build a lot of it out on my website. A lot of people ask me, why don't you just move to something else? That's a lot of freaking work. I have 700 something workouts. And I've also been adding a more, um, just more descript description. It used to say like just what equipment you needed. So I've been going through all of that. And let me show you on my site. Let's say we go to the strength section. So now on the side here, all categories, you can go through and like, oh, I wanna do full body. Look how much nicer that looks with all the colorful, right? I have a lot of, see this is like an old one. Also you can see the angle. This is something that I definitely will be taking down and refilming just because the filming, like see, this is like straight, this is curved. So I, it just tells me like the editing isn't great on those old ones. So this is something that I'm just working my way through. So my next client isn't for 45 minutes. So I'm gonna go through and basically I just have this checklist of like thumbnail, have I changed it? Description, has I changed it? And then notes over here, like there's just things I wanna delete, rename in the thumbnail, making notes of like, this could be used in a future program. So, and then I have all of my little programs down here, the status of like, is it filmed, is it scheduled? These are all of the programs coming to the Fit Club in the next like, many months. walking home from the gym now. It's probably 9.30. Today's a really good example of like how flexible 
you kind of have to be, I guess probably anybody in life, but especially when your schedule isn't necessarily your own. So for instance, yesterday, my 9.30 client actually canceled because she was feeling sick. No problem, whatever. And then I woke up this morning and my four o'clock client yesterday rescheduled for four o'clock today. Again, no problem. Like this is all within everyone's right to do. Because those two things got moved around, it just kind of like opened up a different part of my day. So I moved my workout up earlier. I moved around my Fit Club Friday sessions that were for later in the day tomorrow. So now I'm going to be done at like two, which is fantastic. And I'm moving a lot of the admin stuff I would normally do on Fridays to today. So I think like making sure that you have a really clear understanding of A, everything you need to get done during the week and B, where it can fit in and don't be tied down to it because it's going to change. That's just what happens when you're working with other people with other schedules. And then just as a person, I had to be really gentle and flexible with myself for my workout. My legs are actually still very sore from my pull day on Tuesday, which makes sense. That was only two days ago. And I was supposed to do a push day today. And just because it was like early, I'm tired. My legs are tired. The thought of doing like barbell front squats, absolutely not. So I actually always put in like a skill day if I have time for a third workout at the gym. And I had kettlebell homework, so car almost backed into me it's going well anyway so i just did that today i didn't go like crazy heavy didn't do high rep this is just a good lesson not every workout needs to be your heaviest best most complex hardest workout ever so today was just a really good day for me to a literally get done something i had to get done for my homework and b work on some skills and just move a little bit we're gonna go home i have to do some laundry i have to eat and we'll do a lot of admin work today so i'll kind of show you what that looks like Okay, so I'm editing this, ooh, what just happened? Chorus line dance cardio. And these are the most annoying thing to film. Not even because I like overlay the, the music on top down here, but because the mic picks up every single breath. So this is what I have to do through the entire thing. So you can hear me talking. You can hear all that like rustling. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut from here to where I go again. So now, and then I'll do the same thing. So it's very tedious. This is probably gonna take me, these take a long time. It's probably gonna take me like an hour. So we're gonna to continue to do that. I'm gonna get before you add it into the calendar itself. I totally forgot about this today and then I got a notification. So I joined the meeting, but essentially I'm, my website's on Wix and I'm basically in like, I forget what they call it, like the Wix success team. I don't really know. It's like business owners who they want to like help. So I, they have like weekly webinars, the different information. Today has a lot to do with like Wix booking, contacts, different features like that. And a few things I've like noted. I'm like, oh, I have to like check that out today. And then I have the option to like schedule one-on-one -on -one call whenever I want with like a Wix success manager, which I've done once before. So that's really nice. So I'm grateful to be like a part of this program. So I'm just finishing out that. I edited the chorus line video. It wasn't as terrible as I thought it would be. Just so annoying. I did a little bit of client programming for next week. I'm gonna finish out the rest of that tomorrow only because I haven't met with the last two clients yet that I have to program for. And right now I'm gonna do a little scripting. So let me show you. Okay, ignore the Zoom screen happening on the side here. So I always put like a big list of any scripts for videos that I have coming up right in the center here, like in a column. So when I have like one left, I go through and I'm like, ooh, I probably need to script something else. This is the one I have to do. It's about cycle syncing. Honestly, I'm not looking forward to talking about this because I got so annoyed with that BMI video yesterday, but that's fine. So I already made a rough outline. Essentially, essentially I'm going to explain the menstrual cycle, what's recommended in terms of what people are saying with cycle syncing, like with your workout, what the studies say, and then my personal opinion. So essentially I need to do a little bit more research, make sure I have all my sources, and then everything will just live in this document. And then you saw the other day, I put it in my scripts folder on my hard drive. On the forearms, on the knees, tuck the toes under. Oh yeah. And then really press the floor away. 
I'm so hungry. You're literally in a cup right now. The reason that's upsetting is because I have to teach a 45 minute class in 25 minutes, but I have to get it all set up. So I don't know if I have time to eat. And then I'm also just like, if I do eat, am I gonna be too full for class? Why am I screaming? It's just an upper body. So it's my fit and flow class, which is really fun because it's like 30 minutes of strength, 15 minutes of mobility work. Specifically this month, we're actually doing a strength and mobility class. That didn't make any sense. That's like literally what I just said. Um, I need in the strength portion, we're actually doing, we're doing supersets of strength and mobility. Here, let me show you what I mean. Okay, so that's the warm up there, but like, so we're doing supersets. So we're doing a chest press. This day is a lot of like bilateral work, both arms at the same time. So chest press, and then we drop the weights and we're doing floor rainbows, that's mobility drill. Then we're doing bilateral bent over row, and then we're doing standing arm circles, nice and slow. Skull crusher into a chest fly. It's a little fun little combo move. And then some forearm scap retractions or scapular retractions. Yeah, so it's like a fun class. And if you want to do it, it's on my website. But anyway, let's get this set up and see if, maybe I'll just eat a snack now. Down, exhale to press. Legs are on top of my weight. It's going well. I'm starving. The day's not over, friends. We're going to import this footage, edit it, and then we'll call the night. So I'm gonna go make some dinner while this is all importing. So yeah, even like on a pretty mild work day, I still worked from, I left the house at 6.15. It is 6.45 at night. I will probably be done around 7.30. Okay, importing. Let's go make dinner. I'll see you tomorrow, 6 a.m. wake up. Good morning. Okay. You hear piano music in the background it's because I'm listening to piano music. So I am making my little like weekly schedule thing. I'm just going to literally show you how I do this. I'm not going to explain it because it doesn't matter. And it's 6 a.m. So I just go in old classes and I'm basically just going to drag and drop to do this one. A little snippet of each class. Got bigger so it fits the screen. That's good. And now we're just going to move me over. Great. And then we're going to do the same thing for every other class. Final step. This is also the most tedious. Like I have to do this for a bunch of videos today. This is the most tedious one. So I always do it first because it's annoying as hell. We're just going to bring these overlays on top. Great. That'll look better um, when it's not processing. Okay. Ooh. You're balancing on a cup of water. <laughs> in terms of today, I'll just kind of pop the schedule up on the side. We've got our core class in about an hour. Then I've got to edit that class. We're gonna to go to the gym. Legs are definitely feeling recovered, so we're gonna do a push day. Oh, I think I have a Fit Club Friday in there. So in this Fit Club Friday, I believe, we're talking about how to progress your weight in snatches. That will be fun. Then I've just got some admin work, like a lot of admin work to do. Fridays are always the day where I just like to wrap up any final admin so that I don't have to do anything on the weekend. And like Monday morning, I can just turn on my computer and like jump right in. And I'm actually, as long as I can get all my admin work done, I'm done at two today, which is odd for a Friday. I don't know why, but Fridays this year have just been like packed. Like everyone has wanted to book on a Friday. All right, so I'm going to finish putting on my face. And then class today is core. We're doing... We're doing some playlist that I like thought was so smart and clever. And then when I started to like make the playlist for it, I was like, what? it's called Think Pink. It is both exactly what you think it is and also not. It's just very like girly pop, Elle Woods. I don't know, I threw a pink song in there, but the programming is nice and fun. Okay, let's go. Why did I just flip you off? I feel like that was like a Freudian slip to like everyone sending me death threats on Instagram for saying people who menstruate instead of women. So that was for them. This is for you. Them, you. Let's go.
I'm exporting videos so my computer's gonna explode, but look at this really cool feature that Wix just released. So this links directly with my entire Wix account. And essentially it's a nice way, you know, like, like a link tree type of thing situation that's what it is but it's like super customizable this links right to my website this is super nice i can just like do little drop downs i love this very cool